Okay, so this is a 3D model of a World War One trench. And to start, this is the barbed wire, and it would make it very hard for enemy troops to march across it because it was barbed. And then in front of the barbed wire would be no man's land, and that could be from 45 meters to a mile. And troops would have to march all the way across that with bullets flying across from the MGs to get to the enemy trench. So it would be very difficult to march across there on no man's land. This is the front line. This is the front line trench. And that could be about 7 feet deep. And this is where all the troops would go if they had to get out of the trenches and go and march across no man's land to the enemy trench. And they could fire from here, or they can stay in here to defend the trench. And this is the communication trench, over here. And somebody would be inside this building, and they could intercept enemy radios, and decrypt them so they know where the enemy was going. That was one thing they could do. They could radio in for supplies. They could tell um, troops on the field if they were marching into a trap, if they found a radio and decrypted it, or something like that. And that was another thing. And then over here is the reserve trench. And this is where reserve troops would be if they needed more um, troops to come out to the front and help with the fight. And then the armory was also back here. So if they were out of ammo, they could resupply or get bandages or get food or anything like that. And then here is where the artillery strikes were fired from. And then behind that would be where the mortar strikes were fired from. And that is a World War One trench. Thank you for watching.